Today is the day of my event. I'm hosting a networking meetup type situation here in Chicago. Live from Chicago, it's your boy. Who I met through my Discord server, out of all things. Except, that's not where this journey starts. It starts with a chain of events that led me to discovering and meeting a very passionate content creator who loves to provide value to people by informing people about tech, real life situations, and connecting fellow creators with multiple different avenues. This situation proves how important it is to engage your community and why, at the end of the day, you don't need a big community to host an amazing event. The chain begins on August 18th, 2018. Bobby Burns did a collab with Psych IRL. Hey everyone, I'm here with Psych IRL. Later, on the 17th of September, Psych IRL collabed with Life Like Josie. We are trying to figure out how to do collabs. Then, on October 27th, 2018, Josie made a video with several people at Vid Summit. The one person that showed up the most in that video was Audrey Ember. I'm Audrey. Hello, my name's Audrey. I know her. I then became an avid viewer of her channel for about five months after that first initial point. One day, on Instagram, I saw that Audrey posted about the event on her story. It entailed that more info would be on her Discord server. I joined the server, not aware how much acceptance and kindness that I would get as my name appeared as a new member on the server, which reflects just how friendly her community is. After a few weeks, the tickets finally went up. I bought the tickets and got everything situated. There wasn't much info on the happenings of the event itself, but despite that, I was excited for what awaited me in Chicago. On the day of the meetup, March 17th, 2019, we arrived a few hours early. With time to spare, we went to the Windy City Cafe. It was a nice little place on the corner, which I'd highly recommend if you're in that area. Although it being packed when we arrived there, it was well worth the wait. Before the doors opened to the meetup, most of the people that were attending were already waiting outside, anticipating the conversations and the general atmosphere that we were about to step into. Audrey was already out there with everyone, waiting for the set time of the event. It was at this very moment that my first initial contact with her in real life occurred. And to be quite honest, she is one of the most authentic people I have ever met from the internet. There were even some moments when there was hardly a distinction between her on-camera personality and her non-camera self. Then again, there were like 10 cameras everywhere all the time, but hey, you shouldn't expect anything less from a YouTuber meetup. When we began to shuffle in, I immediately took in the atmosphere of the establishment. It was a studio-esque room with very creative wall decors, an iPad on the wall that changed the color of the lights, and a blank whiteboard, which ended up being used later in an extremely clever way. For the atmosphere of the conversive crowd, I expected that it would just be a meetup of a bunch of creators. With the amount of cameras that I was seeing, my first initial thought was that they were all vloggers. I also figured that it would just be a hangout session for a few hours. And I was right. Events going good. Uh, really fun. Except it was so much more than that. This community that I found myself in was a very respectful one that was genuinely fun to be around. Everyone was super nice and every single conversation conversation I had was different and intriguing, especially since it turned out that not all of them were vloggers, but instead some of them created videos about tech, cars, reviews, and cinematography. Even the one person that I talked to ended up being a podcaster. So not only was this a meetup of YouTubers, but people who love to use their creative talents in general to share with the world in a positive light. Every single interaction that I had at this event reminded me how much one YouTuber can reflect in their community. On the internet, people have specific types of tastes of content on YouTube, whether it be related to personality, common interest, or just a general intrigue in what the YouTuber is doing. Because of this, very specific groups of people are drawn to very specific YouTubers. Most of the time, it's more noticeable with the more vocally negative channels, which can result into some YouTubers having toxic fan bases, since negativity always grabs more attention in general. The other side of the coin can be said for the positive YouTubers, such as Audrey. Audrey's mission is to not only document her creative journey, but to share the process with her audience as to learn how to best go about things, as a way to influence people to do what they love. That very mission statement was extremely noticeable in her community. Everyone was going down their own creative path.
half. Some vloggers, some tech reviewers, and some that I wasn't even aware of. They all share that same creative spark that I saw when I first discovered Audrey. That passion for creation. That passion for being unique that spread like fire to her audience. With Audrey's passion that she began three years ago, it manifested into an event that ultimately brought people with similar callings into the same room, which led to countless opportunities, collaborations, and connections. It proves that you don't need a big community to put on a great event. The less people you have attend, the better of a relationship you'll have with them because then you're able to talk to everyone. At the end of the day, what matters is providing value to others any way you can, just as Audrey did with her creativity, by creating videos and by hosting the best creative meetup that I've ever been a part of.